Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to be showcasing another one of my recent projects, specifically a space-themed project. Now, last time a while ago, I showcased my YSC set, which stands for UZ Space Company. And here we have the YSC Endeavor, which I showcased, which is a really cool looking space station. I've got some uh, additional space shuttles just floating around, as well as my little jetpack here. But I was thinking that I have the space station and all the rest of the things for space travel. I don't really have anything to actually get into space. So I wanted to make a very, very cool multi-stage rocket. And here it is in all its glory. I call it the YSC Athena. And when I say multi-stage, I actually mean multi-stage, like a realistic rocket. So there's a booster stage, another stage. There's actually more stages than you think. I think there's about four in total, which I'm really excited to showcase. But to do that, I actually need to be on one of the planets. But before we go, I actually want to do a realistic type of mission. And I'm thinking, why don't we go to Nasu? We're going to pretend that Nasu is the moon. We're going to pretend that Dune is Earth. And we are on peaceful sandbox, so I'm not going to get shot by any AI space pirates. So the mission will be pretty simple. Take off from Dune, get all the way to Nasu, deploy a probe satellite, land on Nasu safely. Maybe uh, take a look at the views there, I guess. <laughs> and then once again, take off from Nasu, get all the way back to Dune for a safe landing. And I want to try and accomplish this without repairing or anything. I really want to showcase the multi-stage parts of this rocket. All right, no better time than the present to launch this rocket. Let's go. Three, two, one. And off I go. Just gonna turn the rocket a little bit. You can see that the vertical stabilizers are doing their job. I actually want to use a little bit of your control right now to get us on the right path to Nasu. Okay, we're leaving atmosphere. And we just want to get out of the... Uh... There we go. We are in space. We have left the atmosphere. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually decouple the booster. And here it is. The booster has decoupled. With a little bit of thrust there, you can see... That the booster is making its way back to the planet. It's probably crashing on the planet, to be honest. But now we are in the uh, second stage of this rocket. I just want to aim myself towards Nasu. There we go. Cool. And uh, let's get some speed going. Also, on the top part of the rocket, now that I'm up to speed using some speed sensors, those solar panels will deploy. I think I'm pretty safe to just head over there in this area. It doesn't seem to be much asteroid debris on this, like, just this path I'm going through. It just seems to be all around me. Okay, we are going quite fast. So let's deploy this probe. I'm going to open the compartment here, and you'll see the little probe by holding down on the D-pad. It will launch. There we go. Probes away. Nice. <laughs> there it goes. It's actually going the same speed as me, but we're here. We want to land. So let's decouple to the next stage. And once we hit atmosphere. All right, we're in atmosphere. Deploy the landing gear. I have little landing gear there. Okay, you know what? I'm actually doing a really good job right now. This is going very well. Give it a little bit of juice, just so we don't crash too hard. We want to land pretty softly on the surface here. Oh, a little bounce. A little bounce again. There's low gravity. <laughs> and there we go. We landed. Success. So, I can get out of my rocket in my little spacesuit. I also have this, like, tiny lunar rover. And uh, we have landed on the moon. 
You can tell I took a lot of inspiration from playing uh, Kerbal Space Program 2 lately. I just wanted to see if I could do like a realistic type rocket in Trail Makers, especially now that we have the space map. And it has been a while since I've been on the space map. So it's nice to hop back on every now and then just to check out the zero gravity and uh, do some cool stuff in space. But I say I'm done here on the moon. You know what? Should I make, should I plant a little flag, guys? I think I should plant a little flag. Let's get an anchor pin. And we're just going to go with the flashbulb flag. There we go. We have planted a flag on the moon. Yeah, let's, that's awesome. But it is time to get home. All the way back to Dune. So let's go for launch. That's very easy. I don't need a lot of thrust to take off from Nasu. There is just like barely any gravity. I just want to try and aim myself a little bit towards the direction of home, which is Dune. Solar panels have deployed. All the panels are not necessary, but I just think they look awesome. Like, look, look at that. Okay, we are going very fast. I'm going to slow down here. Realistically, this last stage of the rocket will have just enough fuel to get back to the planet, but not do anything else. So it is time to deploy the final stage, which is the uh, the capsule itself. Deploy it now. Here we go. Come on, deploy. And there we go. You see my little heat shields? Let's try and slow down a little bit. Oh, we're coming in very fast. Now, realistically, we'd have a parachute about now. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too bad. I mean, if I slowed down a little bit more before I jumped into atmosphere, I would have uh, had a softer landing. But we, we made it. Those thrusters are there just to uh, represent a parachute. I mean, I could use the parachute mod. Actually, you know what? That's a really good idea. I want to try that using the parachute mod. Okay, we got the parachute mod working. I just had to uh, reset the game there. But it seems the parachute is actually giving me... Like, it's pushing me up. So this might not work, guys. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. I'm going to deploy... Just decoupled the booster because we don't need that. It's actually harder to turn in space with that on. But we're just going to head straight towards the planet now. Full speed. I'm going to deploy the next stage. There we go. And the last stage, we're really just going to hit atmosphere now and probably do a sonic boom. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, slow down, slow down, parachute. Parachute. Oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can deploy the parachute once we get to the ground. Oh no, am I heading in towards that vortex? Okay, no, we're good. We're going straight down now. And I'm actually using my seat lean controls to try and keep myself upright. I do have a little bit of stabilizers in there, but not very strong. Oh, and parachute. Soft landing. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. And we have safely made it home. <laughs> I think the main thing I wanted to get right with this project is just like the decoupling stages. I just wanted them to look really satisfying when decoupling the stages. So for example, like this, I can just decouple straight away. There we go. There goes the booster. I just love deploying this little probe too. Off it goes. But yeah, I just wanted it to look right when deploying. Like, look at that. Look at the way that just kind of pushed it away. I'm very, very proud of this build. When I'm working on a longer project like this, I don't tend to record the process because it just takes a very long time. Like this build in particular, it took me about six hours just fine tuning and, you know, getting the design right. Sometimes when you play this game, it takes a while to build like a very cool creation. I'm sure you pro builders out there know, know the struggles, but it is worth it in the end. But I hope you guys like my new addition to my space company set. As we land here, I'm sure you guys could think of some uh, additional things I could add to the rocket because that middle stage that deploys the probe is kind of modular. So I could put different things there. So instead of deploying a probe and having a cargo hold, essentially, maybe uh, it could dock onto the other ships that I have, the Endeavor. Ooh, look at this landing. Oh, beautiful. That was a perfect landing. I can't lie. But yeah, I hope you like this little showcase video, guys. Just wanted to show you my latest project and uh, update you on my progress in this game. I am extremely proud with what the final product of this rocket is. And hopefully I gave you some inspiration on uh, getting back into space. 
But definitely leave your suggestions on what I can build next, guys. I am pretty much really loving building things right now. So if you have any cool suggestions that make me go, ooh, I most likely will build it. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.